Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Albaid Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's England against the United States. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Kyle Walker plays with Ben Chilwell in the fullback positions. Raheem Sterling plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. Here's how it looks for the United States. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. And the contest begins. Foden, Declan Rice, Foden, superb block, oh dealt with by the goalkeeper, and out of play for a USA throw in. Well, the trend is England's friend. Semi-finalists in Russia in 2018, runners-up at the last European Championship. Stuart, they have to believe that they're very much in the conversation as regards potential winners. Well, in both those tournaments you talked about, first of all, I thought they should have got to the final in 2018, and I thought they should have won the European Championships. But there was one thing missing, a tactical understanding when things started to go wrong. That's what they have to improve this time out. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Mount. Keeping the ball moving. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Now, what can England do from this position? In position to give them the lead, maybe? And fine goalkeeping. Well, opting for the short corner. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick.
he's got to be disappointed with that pass. Way up. Will he find the net? And able to get a body in the way. Phillips. Kane. On to Chilwell. Delivered into the box. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. And well, the keeper not thinking it through. Walker takes aim. Well, what an opportunity squandered. Far too easy for the keeper. And he keeps going. Way up. And after the cross, a tremendous block. It could be. Must be. Brilliantly blocked. Stones. Walker. And it might appeal to Raheem Sterling, you know. Pretty straightforward in the end. Can they hit on the break? They need to get bodies back. Real chance. Oh, he's blocked it. Harry Kane. And plenty of room in the wide area. Mount. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Kane. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Well, not quite happening for Raheem Sterling up to now, Stuart. Well, he's had no real impact on the game so far. Yes, he's been tightly marked, but he has to work hard to make things happen. He's been really disappointing. Kenny, way up, can he give them the lead, and keeping it out, played over, well, not cleared away completely. And Pulisic has it. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. An example of a goalkeeper in top form here. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Sterling. Well, and space for him to cut in. That is that for the first half here. Raheem Sterling, whose timing is generally so impeccable, but he is one of his own biggest critics. Is he going to be happy with this performance? Well, it certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. And the contest begins. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Aronson. Tremendous intuition to win it back. That'll be a USA ball. A 
Kenny. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Phillips. He has teammates around him. Mount. Kane! Shot blocked, but still alive. A wonderful intervention. Pulisic. Weston McKenney. They might be able to get in now. Possession seeded by the USA. Harry Kane. And England pushing forward with options available. And that's a straightforward stop. Rice. Well, here we can see it again. It's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and Kane's strike is absolutely perfect. Pace, power, and accuracy. What a player he is. One-nil then. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. An alert intervention. Going well. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. Could be! Well, he really tried to connect with it, but a long way off target. Chilwell Sterling happy to take on the shot simple catch really well a classic example of how to intercept and the pass a good one chance to cross could be in trouble and well, I think we were all wondering what the verdict would be the answer a yellow card Stuart well he's just about got away with that one it's a good foul in the end <laughs> setting off perhaps a little bit too much here And it wasn't really the ideal pass. It'll be a throw. Getting in there to intercept. Sterling. Chilwell. Well, I'll tell you what, that goes down as a miscue. He'll be kicking himself, Stuart. Well, it's a poor effort, but he's been given offside, so he's got away with that one. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes.
And with that, the attack fizzles out. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. It needs an accurate cross. Well, the counter chance looks very real. All hands on deck. And Harry Kane ready to bounce. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Time for a change, then. Looking ball in behind. And the goal disallowed. You can see why. Offside, Stuart. Yeah, and I think he knew as well. Immediately looked over his shoulder to check for the linesman. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Well, it wasn't a taxing save. And there to intervene. Now, potential danger. Chance. Oh, that might have sealed it for them. Well, he has to make the keeper work there. That's a bad miss. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Well, great read there to intercept. Able to skip past his man, but no damage done. That's the main thing. Now, oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Well, some referees might have reached for the yellow card, but not this one. Yeah, another foul, and he will get a yellow card, that's for sure. Very acceptable from an England point of view. A victory here. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. And the shining light for his team. No two ways about that. Harry Kane. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent and he fully deserved to score that winning goal. And the match is underway. 